Yesterday, we discussed Tennessee State Senator Stacey Campfield. He's a Republican that wrote in his blog that, quote, Democrats bragging about the number of mandatory signups for Obamacare is like Germans bragging about the number of mandatory signups for train rides for Jews in the 40s. <laughs> Get it? Get it? Because giving people health care is totally like sending them to death camps and shoving them in gas chambers. So, uh, we pounced on this jackass, and the national media covered it a little bit too, to their credit. And uh, the state Democratic Party and Republican Party called this guy a moron, which I, I say, good for them, man. This is probably the first time I've ever been in agreement with the state Republican Party of Tennessee. So uh, what did he do? He said, no, 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 no. All of you guys are mistaken. I was taken out of context. Quote, I regret that some people missed the point of my post. Oh, God. I'm so sorry I misunderstood you, man. What was the point of your post? He goes, it was not to offend. It was to warn. I'm warning you guys like the good citizen I am. I want to, quote, draw attention to Obamacare and the slippery slope that I see occurring in the lives of myself, my constituents, and the rest of the country with the continued taking of freedom by the federal government. In no way was my post meant to diminish or detract from the pain, suffering, and loss of human life that occurred during this dark time in human history. Instead, the post was meant to draw attention to the loss of freedom that we are currently experiencing. I stand by my steadfast opposition to Obamacare. Oh, keep on digging that hole, buddy. Here, let me buy you a bigger shovel. Keep on digging, man. Eventually, you're going to hit the other side of the earth you're digging so deep. He's not even done. He says, quote, Jewish people should be the first to stand up against Obamacare. Oh, God. Oh, God, man. <laughs> and they should do that because of its similarities to the atrocities carried out by the Nazi party. Quote, when... When you have government deciding who gets health insurance and who doesn't, what services they get and what services they have to provide, they're really deciding who's lo who lives and who dies. These guys are so stupid, it, it hurts to cover them on the show. You know, I, I don't know, I feel like in a weird way we're giving them credibility by even bringing them up, which we shouldn't do. I mean, these are the biggest buffoons in the country. And this goes uh, back to a thing that we covered in the last story. It's what I call these people inverted thinkers. So that means that they have their conclusion and they work backwards to try to make the facts fit their conclusion, but they just don't fit the conclusion. So his conclusion is Obamacare is evil and it's going to kill you and it's terrible, right? And you just work backwards. Oh, let me fill in the blanks here. Uh, it does this, it does that. Death panels, yada, yada, yada. And meanwhile, anybody who's actually read the bill or knows the provisions or sees its effects according to the studies, they go, oh, right, this guy's exactly wrong. Hey, here's a question for you, Stacy Campfield. Where were you during the old healthcare system in the U.S., when we had 45,000 people dying every single year because they don't have access to basic health care. Where were you? I don't remember hearing you talk about death panels back then and death camps back then and making Nazi comparisons. 45,000 people died every year because they don't have basic care under the capitalist, for-profit, private insurance system and health care system. You know how many people died in Canada for that reason? Zero. Norway? Zero. Denmark, Iceland, Sweden, Finland, Australia, Britain, France, zero, 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 zero. Here, 45,000. But you didn't have anything to say about deaths back then. Or how about that study that just came out from Harvard that found that 17,000 people are going to die every year now because over 20 red states are refusing to expand Medicaid under Obamacare. Of course, the provision means that uh, up to 133% of the poverty line now gets covered. Uh, under Medicaid, but the Supreme Court stepped in and said, no, no, this is provisional, and the states have to either opt in or opt out. Well, over 20 red states opted out. So Harvard did a study. They found 17,000 people will die now because if you don't have insurance, if you don't have coverage and something's wrong with you, you're not going to go to the doctor because the cost is prohibitive. It gets really expensive when there's no coverage. So then what do people do? They don't go to the doctor, and next thing you know, 
hey, it was their appendix burst, they didn't realize it, and they die. 17,000 people are going to die because of that. But you have nothing to say about the bad policy that's leading to deaths if it's a right-wing idea that's leading to deaths. It's only when it's a left-wing or, uh, you know, the democratically... Uh, instituted idea, implemented idea, that all of a sudden, oh my god, terrible death camps, they're like Nazis, 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 Nazis. Look, these guys are so stupid, I don't even know why we waste any time on them, man. You know, any objective look at the facts, at the numbers, at the stati statistics, at the world healthcare systems and the different studies, right, and how they, dif they function, everybody comes to the same conclusion. Oh, universal, single-payer, government-run systems are the best. Having a single-payer system is the best. That's not an opinion. That's an objective, verifiable fact if you look at all the different studies that are done, whether you want to go to the World Health Organization study that was done in 2000, which was the biggest one on this issue, or subsequent studies. The World Health Organization study found the U.S. was ranked number 37 in the world, okay? A recent one found we were 46th in the world. Now we're finally getting it going in a better direction because of Obamacare, which is a moderate vanilla reform, right? And they're still like, no, that's Nazism. Let's go back to the old system where more people died. What a joke this guy is, man. But you know what? Go ahead. Keep doing it. Keep doing it. Because the more you talk about Obamacare, the better Democrats look and the better they'll do in the election and the more fodder they have for material to slam your punk ass.